Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Two nights ago, my boss and uh, lookalike, Ben Shapiro, went to speak at UNC Greensboro for YAF. And like I mentioned in yesterday's episode, those college campus speeches are often followed by, you know, protesters and pushback. I mean, it's all basically expected at this point. But this time, it wasn't protesters who were going viral. It was one kid that thought he could outsmart Ben. <laughs> but this was during the Q&A portion of the event. So let's just watch this. This is the original clip. I'm a mathematician and a physicist here, a double major, and I also just won the most prestigious award in the country to pursue research at any institution I want, That's the National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship. So I think I'm pretty, you know, qualified to say that most of what you're saying is based on, like, old data. Okay, so that's how he starts this whole thing, by claiming that he's a mathematician and a physicist. No, you're just a student taking those classes. Also, why is he wearing a beater? Who is he, John McClain? Welcome to the party, pal! Also, I looked up the award that he got, the National Science Foundation Graduate Research thing, it's not that prestigious, like 20% of applicants get in. And I think only 12,000 people apply. So, sorry dude, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Not even 30 seconds in, he switches to ad hominem attacks. I mean, he gives up so fast. Not you sound like a disorder, bozo, bro. And you get no pussy, and you can't even make your wife wet, bro. So what's good? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Okay, excluding the uh, more explicit parts, how does that put you in any position of authority or retaining any semblance of respect like you just lost it it went completely out the window then he decides to bring other cultures into it claiming that two biological genders is a white colonial trope no i'm no You're think right. about native american Nailed it. third gender people i'm not saying that third gender people exist in native american societies western african societies like southern native american societies like mexico so in other places that are not white dominated and they like are the united incorrect. states or europe and so so you're saying, saying white so non-white people i'm a mathematician and a physicist anyway you get the point he is insufferable and it ends with ben telling him that whoever gave him that prestigious award should revoke it Obviously, the kid was getting booed at the event, and he got roasted in the replies of this tweet. Boom. Roasted. <laughs> Somebody said, and just think, with all the wokeness going on, this young man could end up as a diversity hire at NASA. <laughs> My personal favorite is, <clears throat> Mexico? What? Young man, leave mess Mexicans out of this. We're just trying to make a living, go home, eat that asada, and watch some novellas. <laughs> okay, so if you think that that's the, <laughs> the end of the story... You're in for a treat. Nothing is over! This kid, Quentin is his name, who was up there trying to own Ben with emotions and logical fallacies, <laughs> uploaded a video yesterday attempting to defend everything he said. The title is, I'm not sorry, Ben Shapiro. It's like the reverse of one of those emotional apology videos after you've been canceled, like the really ultra dramatic ones. It's the complete opposite of that. All right, this is too good to cut up, so we're just gonna watch this whole thing together and I'm gonna react to it. Hey, my name is Quentin Merritt and I just roasted Ben Shapiro. Did you though? But before I get into my, the reasoning behind my actions, I'm gonna give you some background about my experience at the event. I went with a friend and we strolled through campus to get to the gym, you know, we waited patiently in line, shuffled through security, all to get to the biggest and most controversial event of our time in college, Ben Shapiro at UNCG. First of all, he's reading off of a script that is clearly like to the left of his camera. This is a terrible, terrible monologue. This man should go take an acting class. That's all I'll say. We walk down the stairs and try to squeeze into our seats and settle in for the event. We hear someone yell, I hate minorities, just like that. Mm, I'll take that didn't happen for 500, Alex. It's a total fabrication. It never happened. My friend and I immediately looked at one another with shock. Him wide-eyed, looking at my black skin and me uncomfortably staring at his brown skin against the sea of white faces that surrounded us. I mean, that was to be expected, given Ben Shapiro's demographic. No, if you look at the video of the actual event, it's not a sea of white faces. That's an absolute lie. You're starting off on the wrong foot. But what I did not expect was the lack of response to the hateful statement that resounded in my ears. No one batted an eye or turned their head except for us. The lack of care by the people who surrounded me, most of whom share the same views as Ben Shapiro, stirred a fire within me. And that's when I made my decision. I posted to my Snapchat story, and I said that I was going to hackle him. And when they asked audience members to go down for questions, I went down there with that in mind. So he intentionally was just trying to heckle Ben. None of this was in good faith. 
He wasn't actually trying to, you know, ask a question and learn something. He was just pissed off and wanted to start a fight. On my way up there, I asked myself, well, what does Ben Shapiro do? You know, he uses his influence as a political commentator and touts his credentials from his Harvard law degree to give himself the credibility to speak on issues that he's not qualified to speak about. So I did the exact same thing. And for those of you on the internet saying that there's no way that I possibly won this prestigious award, I'm sorry to tell you that you're wrong. You know, it's true. I was awarded the National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship, and I'm a double major in mathematics and physics. This is what black excellence looks like. <laughs> Dude, we can look up the award. We know it's not that prestigious. I think the only qualification was that you have to be like going to, you have to like be wanting to enroll in a graduate program. This is going terribly for you. Sadly, I do have to agree with one point that Ben made about me. He's right. I'm not a biologist. And that's the point. Neither is he. So in reality, the people in that audience should be listening to neither of us, regardless of our personal accolades or achievements, and should actually listen to the biologists and psychologists doing the real research in these areas. And the research comes to an undeniable consensus that being transgender is not a pathology, it is not a disease, it is literally just a different way of being a human being. So, again, I'm going to be very clear. I'm not sorry about what I said to Ben Shapiro. However, I do want to apologize for the sexist language that I used. Back in 2020, Ben Shapiro spoke on his podcast about the song WAP by Cardi B, where he was rightfully mocked by the internet for awkwardly rapping her verses. <laughs> then he took to Twitter and said, Also, as I discussed in the show, my only real concern is that the women involved, who apparently require a bucket and a mop, get the medical care that they require. My doctor wife's differential diagnosis, bacterial vaginosis, yeast infection, or trichomoniasis. And what that basically means is that he's equivocating the physical attributes of female sexual arousal with disease. Again, Twitter rightfully dragged him for this, you know, for being so painfully unaware of the biology of cisgender women. This then begs the question, are we really going to trust someone like that to even attempt to try to tell us about the biology of transness? When I got up there, I brought up the content of that tweet because I knew it would hit him where it hurt. You didn't bring up the content of that tweet. You just made personal attacks about he and his family. Ben Shapiro and I don't have a difference of opinion. The hateful and transphobic rhetoric that Ben Shapiro spews has the ability to do real and tangible harm to people in the transgender community because he has the platform to reach the people who write the policies and laws that might end up restricting the rights of trans people. As a black person and a queer person, I had to call on the experience of the people who questioned injustice and fought for change before me. The majority black and brown queer people at Stonewall didn't lay down and just take the abuse of their oppressors. Neither did the organizers and allies at the March on Washington. Marginalized people should not be expected to be docile or respectful to the individuals aiming to reverse the progress we have fought so hard to gain. Rather, we must be bold and speak out and find ways to dismantle oppression by any means necessary. And if engaging with Ben Shapiro is the avenue that I had to take to fight injustice and spread this message, then it was well worth it. Black power, brown power, queer power, trans power. Remember, there is no liberation for any of us marginalized people if there's only liberation for one of us. We must work together if we're going to achieve an equitable society for all of us. Okay, what about female power? He went through every oppressed group. I feel very left out. Also at the end there, I thought that he was gonna do like a Wakanda forever thing. Wakanda forever! There's just so much to unpack here. I have never seen anything so blatantly arrogant and full of straw man arguments. I mean, it's like he's just trying to cover his ass because he knows that he just lost this debate. That wasn't even a debate, he just heckled somebody. I mean, come on, it's clear what he's trying to do. Like, he just got into a viral spat with the Ben Shapiro, and now he's just trying to ride the social media wave. I have not seen a single positive comment on this video that he posted. All the ones that have gotten the most likes are just ruthless. This whole thing is like a car accident on the side of the road. I know I shouldn't, but it's impossible not to look. Fortunately, nobody was injured with this incident except all of us listeners who lost 10 IQ points just through secondhand ignorance. Dear Quentin, if you read this, learn humility and stop embarrassing yourself in front of your country and the world. Boom. Where's Will Smith when you need him? Someone shouted, I hate minorities. Give Jesse his script back. Yeah, okay. So this comment has to be followed up by this one that I saw. 
We were at the event, sitting maybe 20 yards from this gentleman. If he believes he roasted Ben Shapiro or not is his own personal opinion. He knows everyone laughed at him after he and Ben got finished. What I can tell you with certainty is that no one yelled, I effing hate minorities. No one reacted because it didn't happen. Even if it did, security was very present and escorted anyone out who shouted obscenities or really anything for that matter. I hate that people will see this and believe it actually happened. Trust me, we're not believing it. He was not the only minority student in attendance, and I assure you, if anyone had yelled, the security would have been on them in a matter of seconds, just like they were with everyone else who wanted to cause a disturbance. That did not happen. I mean, he's literally Jesse 2.0. Is that his mentor? Is that who he's looking up to? This guy is a walking argument for not forgiving student loans. <laughs> yeah. That basically sums it up. Look up the personality disorder called narcissism in the DSM-5. <laughs> Seek help. Oh yeah, this is the no comment section of the comment section. <laughs> These people have the biggest egos of anyone I've ever seen. And the moment that their argument, argument is threatened, they just turn to personal attacks and other fallacies to try to salvage themselves, which just ends up looking even more pathetic. But that's what identity politics and contemporary higher education is teaching. It's, it's cheap shots. There's no critical thinking. There's a lack of respect. We see it everywhere. And this guy is a beautiful example. So thank you, Quentin, for teaching us all what we should not be doing. Do you want to be the only person that is not caught up on the internet's latest chaos? I don't think so. So make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any comment section content.